For the tomato gravy, add two large tomatoes to the blender if serving the chana masala with rice. Use just one large tomato if serving by itself. Next, throw in one garlic clove and an inch of ginger, both chopped. After adding a green chili pepper, it's time for the spices. Add 1 4 teaspoon paprika and 1 4 teaspoon cayenne pepper. Adjust the amount of pepper to your spice preference. Once you've tossed in 2 teaspoons of ground coriander, which complements the refreshing taste of the lemon and ginger, add a teaspoon of garam masala. This spice may sound a little exotic, but it can easily be found in the spice section of most grocery stores. Now sprinkle in 1 teaspoon of salt, or less if desired. The spices are flavorful enough that it's no problem to make the chana masala salt-free. Finally, squeeze in the juice from half a lemon. Puree the ingredients until smooth, stirring when necessary to complete the tomato gravy. Add vegetable oil to a saucepan. Use two tablespoons if serving the chana masala with rice and just one tablespoon if serving by itself. Now, turn the heat on to medium and sprinkle a teaspoon of cumin seeds into the oil. Once the seeds start to make a cracking sound, pour in the tomato gravy. While the tomato gravy boils on medium for the next five minutes, roughly chop two cups of spinach. Add the spinach to the saucepan once the five minutes are up and the tomato gravy has been reduced to about half. Stir well, coating the spinach in the gravy, then cover the saucepan and cook for another five minutes. Finally, it's time for the star of the show. As you stir the can of rinsed chickpeas into the tomato gravy, lightly mash them with the spatula to soften. Reduce the heat to low, put a lid on the saucepan, and cook the chana masala for eight minutes. Meanwhile, chop a handful of fresh cilantro while waiting to use for garnish. Once the eight minutes are up, it's time to eat and enjoy. Serve the chana masala by itself, drizzled over basmati rice, or scooped onto naan. Finally, garnish with fresh cilantro, one more rocket in the dish's fireworks of flavor.